Okay, so this is the 2011 uh, T6 Jedi Shuttle. Uh, this set is brand new for January 2011. And uh, it is $60 US retail and 389 pieces. And uh, right away, there is a problem. Uh, like I just said, it is not even 400 pieces and it's $60. And uh, that's too much. The amount of pieces you get in this one is the exact same as you get in the Bounty Hunter Gunship, which is $50, and in my opinion, that's a better set. And in both sets, you still get rare minifigures, but this one is $10 more, and I really don't know why they did that. This set is not that great. Um, you do get two brand new minifigures. You get a very, very nice Jacques T, Jedi Master Jacques T. Um, Really great job on this minifigure. Uh, excellent little hair piece right here. Great color scheme, good uh, head mold. So that's a great figure. And then you get this guy, which is like Sassin Tin or Tain or something like that. And I've seen him in a couple of the movies in the Clone Wars TV show. But his head piece is too big for his head. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. You can see it just kind of it just kind of looks like he's wearing a hat. It doesn't look like part of his hair. Like if you look at this, like you look at Jacques T, that looks like it's part of her head. It doesn't look like it attaches. This is just a little bit too big. So it doesn't really mold with the figure that well. It looks like he has a head crab on him from uh, Half-Life. If you know what that is. If you don't, don't worry about it. But it's just kind of weird. Like it, it doesn't entirely fit him. So, but that's still a rare minifigure. It's brand new. So you still get two brand new rare minifigures. Very, very cool. Uh, and then the ship itself um, is uh, pretty interesting in design theory. You get these really nice engines here in the back. And then you have the traditional Republic colors, which are still very nice um, on this set. And this very nice caged kind of cockpit. I do like that. That's not a sticker, by the way. It's a print. Um, these are stickers right here, these pieces, but um, interesting kind of just shape. And I was kind of hoping for something back here, some storage, something like that, uh, but nothing. It, it doesn't do anything uh, except for shoot missiles, and the way you shoot the flick fire missiles, they're right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. What you do is you push on the engine, and it shoots out the missile like so. Um, I really don't like that design at all. It seems very uh, tacky to push on the engine. Um, there's just something about that that just feels very gimmicky. Most of the, the LEGO Star Wars sets that they make are more models than they are uh, like play feature things and it just feels kind of tacky to push on the engine just to shoot a missile and it's one missile. It's not like it shoots a ton and it's not like it does a bunch of other things. I know some of the sets, like the uh, attack shuttle, the Republic attack shuttle, has the big old rack of missiles sticking out of the top, but it still looks very cool. Like it, it, it still pulls it off. This is just kind of goofy that they have. You push on something that's supposed to be aesthetic. So just kind of an odd, odd design for that. Uh, to give you a size comparison, here it is next to the uh, Palpatine shuttle. And you can see it's actually not as big as you would expect it to be. Kind of fold these out here so you can see. Not as big a set as you would think. The uh, Palpatine shuttle is definitely larger. The uh, Even though this has one big wing that spans the whole ship, the actual meat, the big center area on the Palpatine shuttle is a uh, much larger space. So not that big and it's still sixty dollars uh, here up front in the cockpit you have standard Clone Wars Obi-Wan and Anakin if I can get this thing to open up there we go and they come with lightsabers as well and um, again just like the Rep uh, Bounty Hunter gunship you get four great minifigures uh, and you only get room for two so that's kind of annoying. I mean, this is a 
It's called a shuttle, which implies transport, and it only holds two out of the four people it comes with. Um, it just kind of annoys me when they do when they do that. Um, it's really nice to have a design that fits a lot of people. Uh, Palpatine shuttle in specific has four minifigures, and it fits all four of them. Uh, or I'm sorry, it has. Uh, no, it does. Yeah, it fits more fi four minifigures. So. It just kind of annoys me that they only have room for two. That uh, I, I don't know why that is. Uh, and this does detach as well. This is supposed to be uh, an escape pod. Which, sure, whatever. Why not? There's an escape pod. That's why they have those little blue bricks right there. So it's kind of like tiny little engines. Um, don't really care about that. Just seems kind of pointless, but sure. Um, and the, the main feature of this set is, of course, the rotating central wing. If I can put this missile back in first. Oh, don't you fall out. There we go. The, the whole wing, as you can kind of assume by this giant gear here in the middle, uh, the entire wing will rotate. Uh, I have to do it this way. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Nope. Okay. Uh, all right. So you have this big central wing, and it rotates up by itself. There we go. Or not by itself. I'm sorry. You have to make it rotate. It does not do it by itself. And then it forms. Uh, it actually looks a lot better that way than it does, I think, landed. But uh, it's still pretty cool. Like I, I like I like the aesthetic design. I like kind of the idea of the big bank of engines and then the rotating wing and the smaller front. I was just really hoping for some extra space in the back here. I think they could have made the set just a little bit longer overall and then had a little extra storage so these guys can sit somewhere. Um, so that's just kind of annoying but and then uh, there's no way to make this turn you have to force it like so there's not like a, a little crank or something. And then uh, as you can see this doesn't sit up as it was earlier. That's because there's landing gear on the on the bottom that isn't flipped out. And the landing gear um, is just this little piece right here. And that, I know I'm being kind of whiny today, but <laughs> that's just kind of lazy to me. Like, it's just a little piece that flips out and it holds it and stabilizes it. And I'll show you why that kind of annoys me. If we go back to Palpatine's shuttle again, uh, the landing gear on this ship is very, very nice. Um, when you co when you collapse it, it becomes a part of the design. There you go. It becomes a part of the design. You don't know what's there, but when you flip it out, um, you can you can just tell that it's it's something that this ship would actually have if it was real. It fits the design of the ship, um, and it does a good job holding the ship stable and uh, it just looks like it's supposed to be there. For this one, for the T6, um, it just seems like they added it on. It doesn't seem like they tried to design something that this ship might actually have as landing gear. Um, I know that's kind of a, a strange thing to complain about, but it's, I don't know. It just seems kind of lazy. So, $60 for 380 pieces um, and two new minifigures. Not really worth it in my book. Um, not that great of a set overall. If you're going to get some 2011 sets, uh, don't get this one right away or at all. You're not missing out on anything. Um, it's small. It's almost a fighter. I would, I would call it a, a Jedi fighter. I wouldn't call it a shuttle. It only holds two people and only has two missiles. It doesn't even actually have guns. It just has the two missiles, so I don't know. Just kind of a strange sh uh, set. So there is that. Sorry to disappoint some of you who like this set or had hopes for this set. I did too. I thought it was going to be really cool. Uh, the two rare minifigures, though, are very, very nice. Go ahead and uh, pick these guys up if you get an opportunity. But as far as the whole ship goes, um, you're not missing much. It's just not that great, in my opinion. 
Um, but you know, everyone has their own uh, their own idea of what they like. So there is that. Uh, hope you guys like that review. Sorry if I made anybody angry. Um, please check out my other reviews of the, all the uh, the other 2011 sets: uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack, uh, Bounty Hunter Gunship. V-Wing, uh, as well as the 2010 uh, General Grievous Starfighter, uh, 2010 AT-AT Walker, and 2010 Ultimate Collector Series Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. All those reviews are online right now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys had a good Christmas and a good New Year, and uh, more reviews to come.